During the Second World War, London suffered a massive bombing campaign by the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe. From the 7th of September 1940 through to the 10th of May 1941, the bombing campaign, known as the Blitz, rained down thousands of tons of explosives upon the London population, killing thousands of Londoners. The bombing campaign was so intense that even today you can still see evidence of the damage caused by the bombs. In this video we're going to look at five places where you can still see bomb damage today. Number five is very strange. The first one is here in Portugal Street at what used to be the headquarters of the retailer WH Smiths. At the corner of Portugal Street and Carey Street you can see two signs on the wall. The first sign describes what happened to the second sign directly above it. Our second location is Smithfield Market. On the wall of St Bartholomew's Hospital, next to the William Wallace Memorial, you can see some gouges and splinter marks in the walls. Our third location is the Tate Britain Museum, especially along Atterbury Street on the west side of the building. The damage you can see here wasn't just from one bomb strike, it was hit multiple times during the Blitz. Our fourth location is a church, St Clement Danes, which you can find on the Strand. As you can see, there is still some considerable damage to the outer walls. There is a plaque showing that the church itself was completely gutted from a fire caused by a German bomb so that only the outer walls and the church steeple remained. The church was eventually restored and was later adopted as the official church of the RAF. Our fifth and strangest location is the Victoria and Albert Museum in Kensington. You can see the damage on the western side of the museum, down Exhibition Road and opposite the entrance to the Science Museum. What makes this damage so strange is that this isn't the original damage caused by a bomb during the Blitz. You can see on this plaque that in 2017 parts of the wall were removed and new gates designed to reflect the wall damage. So the new wall and gates were built to replicate the original bomb damage. Whilst most of the damage has been cleared away and buildings have been repaired, there still remains some visible reminders of one of the darkest periods in London's history. If you know of any other examples of still visible bomb damage in London, let me know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please have a look at our other videos on the Offbeat London channel and don't forget to like and subscribe.